What's up everybody? Chris here with Active Van Conversions and we just completed behind us a brand new 2022 Mercedes Sprinter four wheel drive 170 in our Cypress 170 floor plan. This van has four seats, sleeps four, is an off-road beast, carries our signature aesthetic but it's a little bit darker than what we've done in the past. Let's show you around. Okay, so check it out. Uh, first thing you'll notice here is there's two captain's chairs versus our regular Cypress 170. You usually have a captain's chair here and a bench seat with the chest ridge under it. Um, right here is a mount for a telescoping table that's fully removable. It can be stored right up here in our overhead storage. Um, all these seats swivel into one central dining area, we like to call it. Um, these seats can go this way, that way, same with those up front as well. The finishes in here are completely different than what we've done in the past. Uh, we give our customers a wide range of options and it's really up to your imagination of how you want to spec this van. The customer opted to spec it with stuff that we haven't done in the past and um, we're really, really enjoying the look. So we have the white oak on the ceiling, floor and walls. Um, sage green cabinets, super nice. And instead of paint on the shower exterior, this is wallpaper. We did the black hex tile, black sink, matte butcher block. So here's a good look at that flip up countertop. Um, awesome backsplash. And then we have our floating spice jars. We actually get a ton of requests for these at Expos. I think we should probably start making these. <laughs> selling them. Uh, microwave up top here and since this is for a family of four you got to have a lot of storage. Um, right here we have plenty of storage up top and then we also have storage over the bed both sides as well as a ton of storage under the bed. So air wise we have the Dometic Fantastic Vent right here up top, we have the Nomadic Cool & Co AC unit. Uh, in the back, we have bunk windows on the floor space flares, which comboed with this uh, unit here creates a really, really nice cross breeze. Uh, let's show you guys the shower. All right, so our shower has our faux concrete finish, uh, black hardware. Uh, as well as a removable toilet. If you if you want, you can remove it when you shower, keep it in, whatever you want to do. Um, this door actually closes. It's a self-cleaning sliding door. Closes, and you can have your privacy while you're doing your thing. So now we're back here at the bed. Uh, you'll notice that we did the flare space flares on either side. They have the high-tech trim ring with the lights and USB outlets. So in this configuration, you're sleeping sideways. Um, it's 80 inches in width, and typically uh, in a flare space, flare application, we'd shorten the bed. So it'd be like an 80 by 60 bed platform. This customer opted to do the full 80 inches this way and this way. So it gives them the flexibility if they want their kids to sleep up here, uh, they can do so. Under the bed um, is the exact size for a twin size mattress as well. So if the kids want to sleep under there or a single adult, whatever you want to do there. Another option is you can swivel those captain's chairs with the passenger and driver seats and also make a bed platform there. Um, the other option is the pop-up tent on the roof uh, that you can fit a queen size mattress up there as well. So really a whole lot of options for sleeping. Uh, it's really up to you uh, with your use case and whatever you prefer. So typically with our flares, like when we put them in the uh, 144 chassis, uh, we will just do the overhead storage on one side. Since this is for a family of four, uh, we felt like it was important to maximize the amount of storage in this, in this van. Um, so yeah, you have, both sides, a whole bunch of storage here. Just gotta watch your head. All right, let's talk about the exterior. <laughs> so, first thing you'll notice, uh, on the roof, we have the Fiamma F80S awning. That awning comes out to about here, provides a ton of shade. Moving 
moving on to the front. BFG AT tires along with the uh, Black Rhino Arsenal wheels. Got the light bar up top as well as the Baja design fog lights. So we did line X on the hood as well as black emblem. And let's go around to the back. So these are brand new. Uh, a brand new product from Flatline Band Company, the side steps for the 170. Flare space flares. Uh, we got these uh, bed line. Look pretty cool. Matches the bed liner here on the on the lower trim as well. So your 30 amp short power plug. Coming around back, have the Owl uh, tire ladder combo you can get up this ladder these steps all the way up Do the other player here FBC side ladder as well as the FBC running boards or side steps all them so let's show you up top all right, now we're up top. You can see our solar configuration. This van is equipped with 300 watts of solar. Dometic fantastic vent. Here's the Nomadic Cooling Co. AC unit. And here's our spool for the Starlink. Yeah, Flatland Van Company, uh, low pro roof rack. Welcome to the garage space. So um, under here, like I said before, you can fit a twin size mattress under there, perfectly fine. We have electrical on this side. This customer opted for 540 amp hours of Battleborn batteries. So that's basically two of the Battleborn GC3s. Um, 3000 watt uh, Victron inverter charger. And on this side, we have our water. So this is 42 gallons of fresh water. Have your outdoor shower and water fill on this side. So I'll show you inside the garage how we finished it. So typically we do a coin flooring material uh, in the garage here, although this customer opted for the sage green to match uh, the cabinet tree and whatnot. We finished the ceiling of the garage, if you must, uh, with lights as well as that same color. It's on a three-way switch with a dimmer. So if you do want to sleep somebody down here, they have a nice little light option. Electrical, 120 volt circuits up top, DC fuses, there's your inverter charger, lithium BIM, our bus bar is shunts. And here's your Starlink that is spooled up for the out the back option. We notched the uh, box here to run that cable all the way out. Yeah, clean setup. Everything is nice and easy and serviceable. Thanks everybody for watching. We are Active Amp Conversions and this behind me was the Cypress 170 for a family of four. Uh, we are pretty flexible with our floor plans. It's kind of open to your imagination, but we have our floor plans as like a baseline of what we can do and then you can kind of modify from there. With our finish options, like if you want to put more seats, etc. Uh, reach out to us if you have any questions um, below. Uh, our Instagram is the.active and website is www.activeandconversions.com and we will see you on the next one.